Hello folks, and welcome back to RimWorld. Absurdities here. Welcome back to the Blue Oyster Cult. I don't remember what we're called. Um, this is Half Moon Hill though, obviously. And uh, we have food problems. It's not so much that we don't have food, we just don't have good food. And poor Lapsus here has been pretty much worked to the death. Uh, I would like you to not eat raw food. I would like you to make bulk pemmican. Yes, please. And then you can eat. I know she's awfully hungry right now, but we'll make it. Uh, we're trying to get our research going as well. We're researching electricity and then we'll do, uh, what is it? Refrigeration. It's going to be pretty important. There you go, Lapsus. Now, are you going to, yes, make more pemmican. Beautiful. I do wonder if pemmican, like pemmican lasts, right? And we don't have refrigeration, so I guess it just makes sense that we're going to continue with pemmican. But I do wonder, what does it look like? Uh, it's a one-to-one. -one. Make pemmican times four. One-to-one. -one. I don't know what it, what the end result is. Like how many, oh, I guess it would kind of say here. A quarter and a quarter for a single pemmican. It's like making a fine meal. Oh, we, we got all the pemmican we need for the day right there. Okay, nice. I'm okay with that. There's more that Elapses can be helping with, so. Beauty. For Daria sleeping here. They already went crazy once. Uh, they have a permanent crack in their spine from a short bow. Oh, don't you worry. We'll harvest someone's spine in due time and put it into you. Uh, the timber wolf is hunting Elapsus. That's not good. I think everyone should probably get together over there. Oh, who's... Why would it hunt Brettcraft? What are you doing? You go dig at the slate. You're too far away anyways. And we'll start doing some rope doping. Brett crafts melee anyways, so that's fine. Okay, we almost... yeah. There we go. It's hunting elapses, right? So... No, no, run, run, run. Timberwolf revenge now. Oh, dodge. It's so fast. Keep running. Come on, guys. You gotta hit the damn thing. Seriously. It's still fast. There we go. Thank you very much. Now maybe you can uh, butcher. Sweet. I'll take it. Also, now we have a path through here. We'll have to remember that that exists. It was just, it's just way more convenient than going all the way around here if we need to get up say here oh is that where the anima tree is that's unfortunate that's really far <laughs> um maybe it'll get burned down and we can have a new one prop up somewhere is that a thing i really am uh, not that familiar with anima tree stuff so if you guys have some tips please leave them in the comments as to what to do with them redcraft hall in the nasty rotten stuff um, how much steel do we have? Well, we have some blocks, which is nice, but... Steel, 731. That's pretty good. We don't have any components, though. Maybe we should be mining components. That's silver. That is compacted machinery. Mine connected ores. Mine connected ores. Lots of steel showing. 
That's for damn sure. And then we can go ahead and deconstruct a lot of stuff, like, uh, like a lot of this stuff is steel. Let's just make sure that we remove roof area. No, it doesn't matter. It's, there's no roof area. Yeah, we'll get that stuff on the deconstruction. That's good. Let's move on. Let's move forward. We have visitors. Cool. We should consider assigning roles to people. Right? Like assigning role. I think we should do... Uh, Elapsa should be the Shaman of Promises. Let's just begin that. Let's just do that. And then who will be leader? Maybe second best warden, Brett Kraft. At least two spectators are required. Yeah, I guess we have to wait till this is done. All right, make your speech fast, please. Fast, fast, make fast speech. There we go. Successful role change. Brett Kraft. First leader, begin. Right in the middle of the night when everybody should be sleeping. All right, there we go. So now we can go ahead and use, say, a lapsus. We can go to convert. And boom, 20% off, just like that. That's super useful. All right, get rid of that and that. And it is summer. And we have low food. Of course we have low food. Maybe we should be making more pemmican. More. We're back to zero already? Yeah, we need to... We made like 60, 80 pemmican. How much do they eat in a day? It's, it seems to go extremely quickly. I want you to have food ready for them when they wake up, frankly. gift from eastern mayora they have left a glitter world medicine that's amazing thank you for the gift also maybe we'll move the trading spot a little closer you know so they can come in and use the table i guess okay elapsis you can probably be released from your Whatever it is you're doing. You're doing. Joked about what? Getting drunk? Ooh, that's like a whole 10%. That was very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, removed old spot. Good. Also, we should haul that. How is this research coming? Yeah, it's it's coming. An elapsus needs a nap. There you go, cook some more. Area revealed. Oh yeah, they're down here deconstructing. That's cool. Look at all these urns. Slate urns. We'll deconstruct those. Pork is rotted away in storage. I'm not surprised. Um, that looks to be the rest of, or the last of our meat. Nope, there's meat here. 47. We're gonna have to hunt. Heat stroke? Elapse is getting heat stroke. Hold open that door. Of course it's gonna get hot in there. Indoors, 38, 37, 36. Yeah, it's cooling off now. It's 34 degrees in here. Okay, well, we need to keep a door open. Yeah, Elapsus has earned her sleep. Get 126 pemmican. Um, hmm. Now, if anyone's interested in the mods in this series, uh, it should be right in the description. I'm using the basically the same mod 
uh, mod pack, mod setup as in the last series. So no real changes there since it was last updated. And I will endeavor to keep it updated as we go forward. I don't see myself adding too much more. If anything, maybe removing things. Uh, you should see how long it takes to start the game. It, it makes no sense. There's something squiffy going on there. So, how are people feeling about the barracks right now? Uh, very impressive dining room. Very impressive rec room. Very impressive barracks. Disturbed sleep, ate without table, slept on the ground, rebuffed by lapses. Yeah, that's problems and stuff. But uh, we could get some real beds on the go. Did we research them yet? No. But we could do bed rolls. Okay. Let's get rid of three of those and make some bed rolls. Minimum of normal quality. And we'll see how we do on that. Also, can we haul this knife and this joint in? Like, come on. We really don't have anyone <clears throat> set up to do hauling very quickly, so... It is what it is. There we go. We'll harvest some more berries. And... Hunt something. Turkeys is a good hunt. Oh, we're going to get in a raid. Hunt geese, because they're uh, horrible. Hunt the ibex. Hunt the beaver. Get... Let me click, for crying out loud. Thank you. Okay. Two people. Oh my god, they got guns. People are coming and they have guns. That's a problem. I think what we're gonna do... They will prepare for a while, then attack. Okay, so when they decide to start attacking, we'll get everyone over to here. We'll put Brett Kreft and Twisted Soul by the door and have everyone behind. We'll just kind of spring on them. Hopefully they go for this area. So let's just uh, speed it up until they attack. Mad Hedgehog. Couldn't you go mad and attack the invaders? What is with... Never mind. Just come on, everybody. You're gonna deal with a Mad Hedgehog and a raid at the same time? It's too much, game. It's too much. How dare you. The hedgehog is so slow. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, they're beginning to their assaults. We're probably going to blow up a boomalo. Where's the hedgehog going? Okay. Doesn't matter. Oh, um, we could spring a trap on him over here. Looks like one of them is going around the southern route, and one's coming the northern route. Okay, so... You and you are going to be over here. Okay, slow her down. Um, hold on. Attack. Attack. Where's Elapsus? Stun. Oh, I should have... I should have kept doing the stun, I guess. There we go. And they're down. Quickly. Um, pause game. Who's the best shooter? 
Legon. Quick, equip pump shotgun, please. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not eat right now. Um, let's consider weapons. As a matter of fact, 6.71 melee damage per second. 6.71, but 20% penetration. 20% armor penetration. Are we literally looking at the same weapon? It's, a, it's the same. It's just the same. Where is this guy? Here he comes. I should have had a lapsus treating, actually. Oh, it's it's bruises. Forget about it. And go. Okay. Attack. Attack. Stun. Come over here. Oh, wow. Hold on. Go closer to the table. I don't want the penalty. And we're going to strip these guys. First raid survived. Look at that. And we only got a couple of bruises for our efforts. There you go. Now get some food. Where? where what? Where would you be going? Deconstructing urn? You don't want to eat? Okay. I think someone really needs to be a hauler. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the work tab here. Elapsis is too busy with stuff. Brett Craft, constructing, um, growing and plant cutting, Twisted Soul, but you won't do those. Which it was an oversight when I created the character because I hate that. Uh, I think Legon. Uh, but Legon's got a hunt right now, which is also really important. All right, then. Twisted Soul, you are growing and stuff, and then you're researching. We've got an Advent of Promises opportunity. It's a special ce celebration. We're going to need a, a, a campfire for it. Fair enough. All right, we barely have enough beds because we didn't finish making the other two. Do we not have enough leather? Uh, it needs plain leather. We don't have enough plain leather. No. Oh, pigskin is what we have. Okay. Let's build a... No, we can't build a copy. We've got to go back into here and do pigskin. There. We'll get those built. And we'll carry on. How's our person doing? They need food. I would like you to deliver food. Maybe we do a convert while they're awake. Before too much time. Yeah, it was only 3%. I think um, definitely happiness has a role to play there. Anadin, gonna do things? You're just going for a walk. How about... I just put you to work. And you're hauling them to where? No, 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 no. No, no. No human-like corpses. Low, you can have human-like, and you can have fresh, too. It'll be fine. Because this will have a higher priority. Yeah.
Well, excellent. We got the food coming in now. And Anadin has Shoot Frenzy. Reminds me, what did we do with the other shotgun? How's about Anadin whips the shotgun? And then equip the steel axe as a sidearm. You're going to equip the steel knife as a sidearm. Yes, hauling is amazing. Thank you for that. Twisted soul just needs a little nap. Up and at him. Ah, a certain deed down to 32%. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense to do it when they just they feel like it. Shoot frenzy. Maybe I should get added in for a time on hunting. Yeah. And then you can haul and clean. This is what we'll have Legon do. Actually, wasn't Legon supposed to be a crafter? I would like more blocks, please. Hey, what's in that hole? Also, hold open that door. Oh, you're uh, meditating. Right. We're almost back to 11 hours on the convert. I'd like you to butcher, please. Area revealed. How much area? Like one tile? Cool. I'm down with that. Better than having a huge gaping hole in the middle of our mountain. Expires in nine days, so we need a ritual spot, which we have. It's a meditation spot. No, this is a ritual spot. Public execution, leader speech. No, we need we need the campfire. Work on that campfire. There we go. Begin Jubilee. Oh, this is no no. Never mind. That was the wrong that was the wrong event. But okay. We're gonna do a laser light show. They got some tribal Pink Floyd playing in the background. Was that even the thing? I hope this works out. No matter what it is. It is a beautiful loyal jubilee. The the drifting lanterns made everyone feel at peace. We got plus two, six mood for six days. This is the advent of promises. Every year on the second of Juggest, which passed, begin one of the following begin advent of promises. A ritual spot or a lit campfire. Disabled. No nearby drum. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, totally a drum. We can make this out of pigskin, too. Not enough stored. No, not pigskin, then. Plain leather? Okay. That'll work. Who is, who is it that's our constructor? That is Brett Craft. Okay. I'd like you to work on that when you wake up, please, sir. And then you may eat. Beautiful. Dinging at compact machinery. Good. I want to have... <clears throat> pardon me. I want to have components ready for when we can get refrigerated stuff. Um, also, meanwhile, 
granites. How many granite blocks do we have? 821. Beautiful. We're going to build a copy of that. Uh, sure, down there in those brambles. Deconstruct that. We're going to put that there. We're going to start planning out our next building. And maybe we reinstall that down there. You know, that should really go up here because we put bodies in it. Closer to, to where we'll actually use them. We'll delete that and then this will be ready to do what we need to do. Anderton's fueling things. Cool. Brett's digging. Anderton's moving the thing. That's what I like to see. Ah, and Legon's smoking the J. Has decided the J is his to smoke. I should make any stone blocks times three use that. I should make any stone blocks times three. This is me omitting words. I should use that order instead of that one, which will let him finish up. There we go. Make any stone blocks is done. We'll delete that one. We'll do the times three. Uh, should we do this other ritual? The Advent of Promises. I mean, we could wait another... on the 11th. Yeah, we could wait a few more days, so... that buff that we've got... kind of... does its job. Alright, so... now is like... you'd think I'd have... Uh, a way of doing this down after playing a few runs, but I don't. So, let's pause. 12. I just kind of go with what with what looks nice. But um I should give some special thought as to how the fridge and stuff goes. If this becomes fridge, the fridge, not just fridge of the name, first of its name, um, it's not a very big fridge, but we'll put some shelves in it. Then we can have what? We're going to need two rooms, one for cooking. One for butchering. And in truth, the butchering doesn't need to be so big. In fact, if we do the doors there... I want to have slightly bigger fridge this time around, I guess. That's bigger. And then we can have a series of doors like that where we have our workstations here, here. Uh, you need to have a door there and a door there. Can I, can I please just click properly? My gosh. Just like pleading with my brain, please be less idiotic. Um, and then this will become what? Will become what? It could become a series of rooms. What 
What am I doing? Gosh. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is wrong. Cool. Just kind of block that off like that. We end up with three rooms. What is this? 10, 11, 12. And then we put out the, uh, like, put a great room in here. With uh, a couple of fairly central doorways. Sure. Why don't we do that? I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, we'll have to come up with some more rooms. But maybe we'll do a housing block on the other side of the, the farming area. We really should do more farming. But that's going to be a different issue. Now, we could go after, what is it, terrain rehabilitation? Um, I think that allows us to dig dirt and make... Oh no, fertility? No, no, that's surgeries. Never mind. Wrong kind of fertility. I'm thinking songs of six fertility. I don't know if that allows us to make better better growing terrain or simply just put dirt over stone. That was shocking. Maybe we'll put it in there and find out. I don't know, 1500, it's gonna be... It's gonna be a job. We'll do it. We have a lot of granite blocks, so we should be able to do it if we, say, haul these... Haul this granite. K has started to roam away. Well... Who's supposed to do the animals? Do the animals that like it's never mind. Brett crafts. Go gather them up. Hey, come on! Don't don't go away. Tamara has also started to roam away. Because Brettcraft is sleeping. There we go. Slowly changing over. I would like good. Here's the rest of our animals. Prioritize roping Brunhilda. Thank you very much. Where? What? Oh, he's going way over there. We've got one way over there. Yeah, we should bring that one home. We should think about getting the Mechanator going as well. Which really just makes me think Baconator. And, uh, yeah, I've sworn off, I've sworn off of that crap, though, so. <laughs> Mostly because I realized, like, for the price, you can go and get a combo at a fast food thing when I'm in the city. I can drive part way home, stop at a, a mom and pop pizza shop, and get a really good pizza. It's, uh, you know, bang for your buck kind of thing. All right, there we go. Nicely done, Anderson. Can you finish it off? 
Maybe steal its eggs? Nice. Okay, there we go. So, we have food. We have the startings of a new piece of base, which is exciting. We can also consider blocking off pieces of terrain. Maybe that should have been the job to do sooner than later, hey? Cargo pods. Oh, and a hedgehog self-tamed. Okay. Hedgehog self-tamed. Hedgehog slaughter. Cargo pods. We got desert tortoise eggs, unfertilized. All right, we'll, we'll use them for food. No problem there. This building, maybe we turn into storage crafting, that kind of thing. And indeed, maybe actually a uh, housing block comes down here rather than, and we turn all of this as much as we can. Uh, but if we get that terrain rehabilitation, we can plant dirt over top of the crappy stuff. So it could be an option. For now, though, we have our first crop of corn is just about finished. We've got rice almost finished. We just had a crop of heel root. I'm feeling pretty good about that. We fought off our first raid. And animal is not wandering away. Stop telling me that. <laughs> Everything is fine. Trademark. All right, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Again, thank you to... Uh, all of my friendly Patreon, uh, Patreon supporters, YouTube members, uh, tippers. I appreciate you all and indeed everyone for just watching the videos. The number of subs we've gotten recently is phenomenal and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying seeing that growth. But if I could ask you a favor, look in the comments for a guy named G Hondo. He's a super nice guy. He's been supporting me from the start of my uh YouTube 4A, and he's uh, been producing content himself uh, recently, very regularly. So if you want more of the similar, I would highly suggest you go subscribe to G Hondo. Even if you do it as a, uh, a favor to me, uh, I know it would make his day. And indeed, it would make mine. Mutually supportive community stuff. Uh, registered trademark. Again, I'm leaning on that a lot lately. All right. Yeah, please do. All right. Uh, I go by now. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.